Hey guys, quick video just to show you how you can use technology as an accelerator and how you can blend technology with a more traditional method. I particularly want to focus for literacy skills today. So for the use of this, we are going to use the Microsoft Lens app. So to find that on your iPad, it's a simple pull down, open your Microsoft Lens app, take your book and you have a number of options. As you'll see here, you have whiteboard, document and business card and it will pick up the page. So what I want you to do is when it's certain that you have the right page, just select thick photograph. That will process and then it brings your page, select your corners and now select done. And this brings your page to life. So what we have to do at this stage, you have a number of options here, but all we want to look at is the done function. So we've select done in the bottom corner. Again, this is the way to scan and to then export. But what we want to look at at the bottom is the immersive reader. So let's tap the immersive reader. And what it will do, depending on your internet connection and your speed, it will start to process in the background. And now we have our page has come to life. This time it is a black background. So to change that, we select your three options across the, the, the bar at the top, says Immersive Reader, the two A's, Lines, and your book. So if we select the two A's, we can change our theme uh, and our theme can be white or can be sepia or any other colors that will assist your learners from there. So we'll just keep it uh, with the sepia background. If you wish to increase the spacing between lines, you can do so from there. You could select your font change as well. Okay. One of the functions of this, which is very good, is the ability for the iPad to read the page to you. You can start with Michael and press the play function and select play. Michael went up the road to his friend Pat and together they would walk the mile to the bog to see if they could get a fill for the basket. Bridget's breathing was rattly. But she slept. And press pause. You have another function here down beside the speaker. If you select there, you can select to have a female. You can have the voice speed slower or faster. Just leave it where it is from here and select anywhere. So if we just continue where we were, mother. Mother, encouraged, took the shifts and a few dirty clothes to wash and then spread them outside to dry. So there are a number of uh, key functions there from a reading perspective as you can work on down through. So the other options here, if we take the second option at the right hand side and select here, this is the bit, the real power of this app. So we select the syllables function, you'll see it will break these syllables down. So the word across, for example, from there. Across. Right. Unplatted. Which helps break those down. Another key function, as you would have noticed, if you tap on some words, it will actually give you a picture view as to the meaning of those. So I'm just going to switch off the syllable section, select the blankets, for example, as we will move down through there. And perhaps as a teacher, you are focusing on nouns or picking out nouns. So when we select the nouns part of speech, it will highlight and you can have the labels on or off. Let's just keep them on for the purpose of this one. And you will see that it has highlighted all of the nouns on the page as we go down through. Perhaps your focus is on the verbs in the page. Again, let's switch on verbs. And again, we now have and if we select the verb itself, it gives you a picture image for students.
and learners. Again, similar process. On this occasion, you can actually switch all of the parts of speech on. That helps give you a very quick overview of different parts of speech. Very useful for anybody learning English as a second language or anybody learning English in an in-depth. Certainly a very, very good way to use the power of technology to scan a page, to scan a number of pages and have the text read back to you, or you can read that at the same time from there. Last function and option in this is the book. And again, you may perhaps, for example, want to focus on just a particular line, or you may wish to focus on a paragraph from there and at this stage you can switch the picture dictionary on or off so there you have it folks that's just a very very quick overview of microsoft lens and the power that microsoft lens will bring to the literacy and to the language classroom for students at all levels in particularly so hope this is useful thanks for watching